Shit. No, dude, don't. I just ain't to be flexed with right now. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm flexing. It was just one of those sexy-ass Sunday nights. I was drinking ghetto blasters all by myself. My girlfriend Momo, who is way too young for me anyway, was in Missouri visiting her parents. I knew I was going to break it off with her when she got back to school, and I started thinking about all the sex that happens at every second around the world. I mean, right now, people are out there just just going into each other, <laughs> wearing out their knees. And I wanted to be one of them, so I said fuck it, and I went right down to the science department's big Oppenheimer pinata party. There I was, whipping out Fliff like a sultan, buying everyone whatever the fuck they desired, even Trevor. Oh, and aw oh, shit, man. Oh, uh, listen, for real here. You know those hot quantum girls? They were laughing because of me, man. Causing them pleasure was killing me. And all those string theory dudes were there, and they were way thrilled to see me. Even the one with the Cheeto teeth? No, he was, well, you, but you know, Lemon Drops was cool for a change. Oh, yeah. <laughs> lemon Drops. Anyway, imagine me, Fliff, Fliff, not even counting it. And we danced, like those people in the hyper-tight light of fried chicken commercials. <laughs> I was perfect. I was important and funny and helpful and seemingly rich, and I had the body of a heavy lifter. <laughs> It was like the part in the movies when the hero shows up at the end to get his hard-earned medal and all his enemies in the crowd start to shrug off their grudges as they crack slow smiles, clapping their asses off for him. Yeah! Man. But right then, a fat hippie broke into a blistering James Taylor cover, and I felt down in my brain's heart that the evening was about to shift into shittiness.